So in this lecture, I'd like to focus on the concept or property of a substance known as density. So density of a substance is simply the heaviness of that substance. And we'll see what that means in a moment. The actual definition of density is the amount of mass of our substance divided by the volume. So let's look at the following formula. So density, which is given by the Greek letter rho, is equal to mass of my substance divided by the volume that that mass is located in. So let's look at the following example. Suppose we have two cubes where each cube has a length of one meter, a width of one meter, and a height of one meter. So my volume in each case is one meter times one meter times one meter, so one meter cubed. Now, in cube number one, I have five blue molecules, where each blue molecule has a mass of one kilogram. In cube number two, I have ten red molecules, where each red molecule has a mass of one kilogram. I want to see what the density difference is between these two cubes. So once again, my volume in both cases is the same. Now, before we find the difference, let's look at the units of our density. So there are two very commonly used units. So either kilograms per meter cubed or milligrams per centimeter cubed. Now other units exist, but these are the most commonly used. In this case, we're going to use kilograms per meter cubed. So what is the density of cube number one? Well, it's mass, my total mass, divided by the volume that that mass is in. So in this case, we have five blue molecules where each molecule has a mass of one kilogram. So five multiplied by one gives us a total mass of five kilograms. So five kilograms divided by a, a, a volume of one meter cubed gives us a density of five kilograms per meter cubed. Likewise, let's find the density for our cube number two. Now, cube number two has 10 red molecules, where each molecule has a mass of one kilogram. That means 10 times one gives us 10 kilograms per the volume. So 10 kilograms per meter cubed. That means because there are twice as many molecules in cube number two than cube number one, that means that the density of this is twice as much as the density of this. That's exactly why this cube will be heavier than this cube because it has more density. It's more dense. Now, density is also an intensive property. Now, let's recall what an intensive property is. An intensive property is a property that does not depend on the quantity or the size of my object, of my substance. In other words, it does not matter if I have one gram or a thousand kilograms of my substance. My substance, in each case, will have the same exact density. Now, this is in contrast to extensive properties, which do depend on the size of my object. Now, the reason density is an intensive property is because it's a ratio of two extensive properties. So, mass divided by volume. Notice that if I go from one gram to a thousand kilograms of any given substance, the density stays the same because this ratio stays the same. By increasing my size of my substance, I not only increase the mass of that substance, but also the volume of that substance. And this proportion stays the same. And that's exactly why density is an intensive property. So now I'd like to look at the following concept that's also related to density known as specific gravity. Now most of us have a lot of intuition about certain properties such as mass or volume, but we don't really have a strong intuition about density. And that's exactly where specific gravity comes in. Specific gravity is a concept created to help us gain more intuition about the concept or the property of density. Now, for example, we have some appreciation to how it feels like to lift 100 kilograms of water. 
but do we really know what it feels like to lift 100 kilograms of any other substance such as mercury? Now, if the answer is no, that's exactly why we use specific gravity. It helps us gain more intuition about the substance that we're working with because it allows us to compare it to water. The formula of specific gravity is the density of our substance divided by the density of water. And what this formula represents is the ratio of our density of substance divided by density of water. In other words, how much more dense or how much less dense is our substance that we're studying compared to water. For example, if we look at mercury, mercury has a specific gravity of approximately 13. And that means mercury is 13 times as dense as water. So the same bucket of mercury will be 13 times as heavy than a bucket of water. And that's exactly what we mean by specific gravity. It simply helps us understand what the density of the substance that we're dealing is, is by comparing it to that of water.